Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to a brand new upload on the Mortovalent channel and today we are going to look at a new article based on tweets and petitions aimed at removing the cameo of a certain orange haired president in the movie Home Alone 2 uh, Lost in New York and replace him with Joe Biden which I find to be incredibly counterproductive and quite idiotic and I'm gonna elaborate on that in this video. But that simultaneously means we are going to get a little bit political today even though my last video was pretty lighthearted so this is gonna somewhat balance that out. So having said that I'm definitely not here to endorse or slander Trump. We'll mainly just cover this specific situation and I'll give you my thoughts on this. Also I know this is kind of old news it's like four days old at this point but I didn't have time in the last days to record so I hope this is still somewhat relevant to you guys. And yeah before we get into the topic I just want to quickly say if you're enjoying my videos please consider leaving a like and a sub to support the channel i really appreciate everyone following and yeah let's look at the story so what happened here if you don't know anything about what has been going on for the past week or so then first of all you're probably living on the dark side of the moon because it's really been all over social media news television etc but as a quick compact summary basically trump was not too happy about losing the american president election back in november and flat out refused to acknowledge the victory victory of his opponent Joe Biden and all this static tension imploded on January 6th when Trump supporters stormed the Capitol in masses. They would argue that they were only protesting, I would argue that they were rioting, but what's important for us today are the direct results of this event. So the cost for this massive split in American society and this whole thing even happening is definitely Trump himself not stepping in and directly telling his supporters to not attack the Capitol. Of course he never told his supporters to go storm the Capitol either but him releasing that very two-sided video on Twitter set the nail in the coffin for him because you know that his supporters will believe like oh he has to say that we need to go back home they are forcing him to say that so they're gonna continue on staying and Trump obviously knew this was gonna happen but on one hand he wants to keep his diehard fans happy while also not scaring off and opposing less radical Republicans however this action or better inaction caused Trump to get yeeted off Twitter and all other social media as a matter of fact. This man can't even listen to music anymore and TikTok also got rid of him so he probably should have banned them when he had the chance. Jokes aside he didn't actually violate any TOS and I'm massively opposed to censorship even though I completely disagree with his values. Now some people might say oh Twitter is a private company so they can get rid of anyone they want to even though they didn't actually violate any terms of service directly. I definitely get that viewpoint but I think you can make a convincing argument that Twitter isn't as much a private company since the people on the platform aren't private employees but rather everybody can create an account and share their opinions for others to see. So when that platform in return deletes your accounts and your opinions that is clearly censorship. I hate to break it to you but it's true. There's obviously barely any outrage since he was right wing. I'm absolutely certain if he was a leftist dude that got yeeted off any were without violating something I'm sure there would have been backlash but nah those twitter idiots are like censorship is good when it happens to the people I dislike but at the end of the day whether you want to call it censorship or not fact is he got banned but people really want to take this a step further so who still remembers the home alone series I think it's rather iconic and one of the most popular Christmas movies of all time the original movie was about this kid Kevin being left alone at Christmas and defending his house against thieves and the sequel to that was about Kevin getting lost in New York. Now this sequel had a very famous cameo in it that being Donald Trump himself appearing in the movie for a couple of seconds to give Kevin directions and the reason I'm bringing this up is because people on Twitter have been calling for him to be removed from this movie altogether and replace his short cameo with Joe Biden and it now went even further because according to this article which is titled Home Alone 2 calls for Trump to be cut from film he bullied his way into Donald Trump's one-time co-star Macaulay Culkin is the latest person to attack the president following his ban from multiple social media platforms and his second impeachment by the House of Representatives. So the obvious question here is who the fuck is Macaulay Culkin and why does his opinion matter? Well he was the guy that actually played the kid Kevin in the movie but nowadays nobody really recognizes him by his name anymore because his career after that movie series well let's just say it wasn't all that pretty. Now what's important to mention is I'm completely against Trump I absolutely don't endorse him whatsoever but he needs to stay in this movie here's why. First of all this movie 
was released in 1992, so almost 30 years ago. I hope that didn't make some of you feel old by the way. During that time, Donald Trump wasn't even a politician to begin with. Like no same person would ever go see him in that movie and then become a uh, Trump, make America great again supporter because of it. At that point he was still completely a businessman, not involved in any politics. I would rather believe such a process of turning a human into a Trump supporter could only be achieved by eating a giant bucket of glue and then smashing your head against the wall. Some people might obviously argue that this scene can just be cut out with no value lost, which I definitely understand, but also that would just lead to more backlash from Trump supporters over this. You simply cannot erase a part of history, no matter how hard some of these people want to try. Trump was still a huge businessman and sadly your president, if you're American, for four years nobody can change that anymore. And removing him from this movie would not accomplish anything at all. Now at least Macaulay Culkin just wanted Trump out of the movie since the article goes on to state this. A Twitter user wrote petition to digitally replace Trump in Home Alone 2 with 40 year old Macaulay Culkin to which the actor replied sold. But some people want to take it even a step further. This is not only a call for the president's cameo to be removed from the movie. Earlier this week a fan launched a petition asking Disney who owned 20th Century Studios to replace him with president-elect Joe Biden. So I'm actually incredibly shocked that people would want to go this far. But Trump being in the movie wasn't a political statement. Not now and not at the time. This scene in the movie was taking place in the Trump hotel, that's why he was there in the first place. So putting Biden into the Trump hotel would just not make any sense at all. Plus again, you cannot just change the past, so stop believing in it. This replacement would not just be completely ridiculous, but also it just would fail to accomplish anything. It isn't a meaningful sign like some people might want you to believe. It would just bring more attention to the wrong things. So that's the reason. I personally advocate to just stop putting so much attention to that Trump cameo because it's a fairly iconic movie by itself that is definitely not defined by that 30 year old appearance that only lasted a few seconds. So removing him from that movie would definitely be a little bit too far in my humble opinion. But after all that's just my opinion on this topic again I really am not a Trump supporter in fact I'm quite the opposite. Still let me hear your thoughts on the subject matter in the comments. I would be quite interested in what you have to say about this and yeah leave a like and a sub if you haven't already and have a great day.